My wife and I were in Asheville, North Carolina last week where we stopped at my favorite record store in town and I bought a handful of records. Actually, I bought CDs. Let me give you a quick video showing you my CD haul and explain how one of the CDs bought saved me from spending $180 on a CD box set. I'll explain more right after this. All right, whenever I'm in Nashville, North Carolina, I always stop by one of my favorite record stores there, which is Harvest Records. In fact, the first time I went there was last year in 2021, and I bought so many records that they uh, gave me this tote bag for free. <laughs> it was a lot of records. <laughs> this time, however, I decided to skip on buying any records and bought a handful of CDs. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dude, you named your channel Forever Analog, and you're here talking about buying CDs. I get it. That's fair. My CD collection uh, really started when I was growing up in the late 1980s, early 90s. I started collecting records in college because CDs were so popular that records were cheap. And now, it's kind of the opposite. CDs are cheap, while records have gotten really expensive. So... Um, actually, everything I bought were brand new releases, so instead of buying the new releases on LP, I picked them up on CD instead. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you that first CD that saved me a bunch of money next. Okay, so the first CD I bought ended up saving me a lot of money, and I know that doesn't make any sense, but let me explain. I got an email not too long ago from Grateful Dead, which I'm on their mailing list, about a 17 CD box set called In and Out of the Garden, which features, I think, six shows over the course of three years, like 1981, 82, and 83. Again, it was a 17 CD box set for $180, and I almost bought it. I don't know why. I was just like, oh, that's cool. I'll buy it. Uh, it was like an impulse buy. I think I put it in the cart and never paid for it. And I'm kind of glad I didn't, because while I was at Harvest, I found just one of those uh, shows that's been recently released here, which is from Madison Square Garden on March 9th, 1981. So this is a three disc CD set, almost three hours long. And uh, I think I paid like 25 bucks for it. Um, I always buy Grateful Dead live shows on CDs because let's be honest, I think this would be, I don't even think they have an LP version of it, but if they did, I think it'd probably be like four to five LPs in, in length. and. You know how it is, like if you're listening to Live Dead, you're gonna have to like flip it over every two songs. <laughs> uh, I know it sounds weird that I'm talking about having to flip a record over, but it's one thing to like buy a record with five or six songs on it and flip it over than it is to get up every two songs and flip it over. Even if the songs are eight to nine minutes long. I don't know. Anyway, that's why I always buy the Grateful Dead CDs. This was the first one I picked up. Um, you know, it's 80s Dead, which, you know, I think people would probably argue 70s Dead live stuff's a little bit better, but enjoyed listening to this and was glad I found a CD copy there. Okay, so I recently saw an advertisement online for an Angel Olsen album called Big Time. And the huge headline at the top of the ad was, Out with the bangs, in with the twang. And that got me interested. I'm always interested in twang. <laughs> so when I was at Harvest, I found a CD copy of Angel Olsen's Big Time. Uh, here's the thing. When we're talking about twang, there's like Nashville twang and there's California twang. This album was produced by Angel and Jonathan Wilson in Los Angeles, California. So to me, it's got a little, more, little bit more of that laid back California twang uh, rather than sort of your uh, Nashville Loretta Lynn Dolly Parton type twang, which is totally fine. Again, super laid back album. Uh, it's got a lot of great string and horn production with just enough pedal steel. Hi Spencer, if you ever watch this, doubt you will. But anyway, hi. Uh, it's got just enough of that to actually give it more of a twangier sound than Angel's previous albums. So if you're kind of into that laid back California country sound, I uh, definitely recommend picking up Angel Olsen's Big Time. Okay, I don't know about you, but I have been in a huge Tears for Fears rabbit hole lately. I don't know. They just seem to be popping up everywhere. You've probably seen that great live video from the radio station that's been floating around on social media. That got me really excited and hopeful for a tour at some point. But 
I don't know. I picked up out of, like random this West German press CD press of songs from the big chair recently. I've been playing it like crazy. So when we were in Nashville at harvest, uh, I saw their new album, the tipping point and I picked it up. I'd actually been considering buying this online for some time, but decided that, uh, I would just hold out and see if I'd ever find it in a store. And I did. Um, man, I, I don't know about you guys, but if you shop for CDs, like these new paper packaging, which has got to be great for the environment. So I'm not really complaining there, but it can be really hard to, see these when they're all sort of sitting in there you know what i mean like the spine gets kind of bent down so you got to really really look if you need glasses like you got to really really have them on to be able to see that small print there anyway if you're a tears for fears fan you can't go wrong with this new album i really really enjoy it hope they go out on tour uh at some point maybe maybe 2023 that'd be pretty awesome but this was the last cd i picked up at harvest uh, and i've been really really enjoying it well, there you have it. These are the CDs that I bought while I was in North Carolina last week. If all this talk about CDs has you nostalgic for the shiny little discs and buying some yourself, but you realize you don't have a good CD player and are interested in buying a cheap used one, make sure to watch this video that I made showing you what the one thing you should look for before you buy a used CD player.